Hey guys, and welcome back to Down Under. In this week's video, we're going to be looking at Amazon Prime, a Prime Video on the Telstra TV third generation. So let's get into it. So currently on the home screen, there's no recommendations for obviously Prime Video. So as you see, you've got obviously your Netflix, your um, 7 Plus, 9 Now, ABC, 10 Play, Foxtel Now, but no Prime Video at this current point um, to look at recommended content. So basically, either to get to Prime Video, you can either hit Prime Video over here, or you can go over to My Apps and click on Prime Video. Like that. So let's open that up and we'll just show you how it all works. We'll play a few movies and TV shows to show you how that all runs. And I'll show you some negative things that sort of annoyed me as well with it. So let's open it up. So it's currently just connecting the account, so it shouldn't take too long to load up. Okay, so we're currently in. So this is on the home page. Obviously, we've got a few other different ones we can go to. We can obviously go to home. Uh, we can go to TV shows, movies, kids, watch list, and obviously settings. So we're going to show you all those categories in today's video. But first of all, what we're going to show you is a negative thing that sort of annoyed me a bit with um, Prime Video on the Telstra TV. So we'll see if it happens again. Basically, I play a TV show, and normally it play most um, streaming services straight away it'll play in HD but this one plays in really bad quality at first now I'm in a hundred megabit connection so it doesn't make sense why it's doing that so let's just open two and a half men for example and let's just see if it does it it might have been just a one-time error but we'll just quickly show you to see if that's the case Okay, so as you see, this time it didn't do it. So maybe it was just a little glitch, obviously, when that happened. But yeah, it seems to be working fine. So as you see, you got all these other... We'll just try it again with Shrek. Um, just to see if it, it's going to blur up a bit. Okay, so it seems fine at the moment. Um, so ignore what I said, but sometimes it can load, like you'll be on a good connection and it'll be a bit blurry, um, but just wait about one to two minutes and it'll come great. So that's one good thing right there. But yeah, before it was doing that, I had to wait like two to three minutes for that to come fully in HD. But that's all fixed now, it seems. Um, so that's great. So now let's start off with all what you get with the Telstra TV. Uh, with Amazon Prime. So it's pretty cool. It's definitely a better experience than on the Apple TV. Because the problem with the Apple TV, what I get annoyed about, is the touchpad, you just scroll through things way too fast. With this, we have an arrow pad and it's easily, it's easy to find stuff. So, for example, we're going to go to Amazon Original Series, right down here. So obviously you can click on all of these shows right here. For example, if you click on one of them, so if we click on one here, you've got all your different episodes. Also, if we go over to the left, we can have a look at all the different seasons. So as you see here, the different seasons are. And the experience, in my opinion, is so much better than the Apple TV. Um, so obviously, if we go to cast, we can go click on that. And this will show us all the cast right there. Okay. Also, if we go back into that, you can mark with the subtitles, which we'll just quickly show you how to do. Okay, so you can do that right there. Oh, I backed that again. And you can go to a language. So this will show you what languages it is available in. And there you go. So now let's back out of all that completely. And that's basically everything in Amazon Original Series right there. Obviously, you've got top movies. So we'll just give you a brief little look at this and how this works too. So again, when you click on one of these... Uh, Movies like here, so we'll click on the Indiana Jones right here. And basically, uh, you have a few options right here. Obviously, you can watch the trailer, which is nice to have. Or you can just watch it now. Again, you can find other stuff that you may like. So just wait. So this will show other stuff you may be interested in. Also, you can look at the cast. So same as um, when you look at TV shows. So basically, all the options are the same. 
The only thing you won't see is different seasons. Again, if we click on Spider-Man 1. Now, because I've watched this, um, I can either resume or start off from the beginning. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I add this to my watch list? Now, it's actually really simple. So basically, all you have to do is hit the star button. So as soon as you hit that star button, down the bottom, it's going to be added. Now, if you want to remove it, you can just hit the star button again. And then it will be removed. So I'll add that one and show you how to find that later. So we'll just back out. Okay, so that's everything there. Um, then you got recommended movies, top TV, and so much more right there. Again, with adding it to your watch list, you actually don't have to click on the movie. You can just click on the star button. For example, we'll just click on a few. And as you see, these will be added when we look at that a little, little later. Okay, so that all happened now. And you can look at much more with um, the TV shows and movies down here. Now let's go into TV shows. Okay, so this is all the different TV shows. So obviously we've got Two and a Half Men. Obviously we've got the original series as well with Amazon. So you've got The Grand Tour and much more. Obviously you've got Top TV, um, you've got Drama TV, Comedy TV. And why they put TV, meaning TV shows, so that when it says uh, kids and family or comedy TV, this doesn't mean movies, it just means TV. And most of this will be TV because we are in the TV category. And basically that's everything down here. Again, if we click on a TV series and click on it, everything's going to be the same as I showed before. Obviously you're going to have your watch now option, then you've got your series option over here. And you can read about each different series if you want down the bottom right there. And it tells you what's included with um, the Prime subscription too. So as you see, it includes um, one, two, and three seasons with the subscription. Okay, so now let's back out of all of that. And now let's go over to movies. Now I'm not sure, I haven't really looked at the settings if it's any different to the Apple TV. But I know on the Apple TV, the settings, there's nothing you can really do in the settings. So we'll have a look at the uh, Telstra TV settings on Prime Video to see if it's any different. So obviously you've got a bunch of different movies here. You've got top movies as before, we showed on the homepage. You've got your recommended movies. And the great thing with Prime Video, they really are starting to add some great movies. Like Jumanji right there. They've added the Jurassic Parks like Netflix. They've got Grown Ups on you, which is really great. Um, Prime Video is pretty cheap. I believe it's $6.99 per month. Do not count me on that. I will have the exact price on the screen right now. But I'm pretty sure it's about $6.99 per month. And I'm pretty sure that includes your Amazon Music. Again, I will have that linked on the screen as well if that is right or wrong. Okay, then you've got your comedy movies. So you can easily scroll through all these. So it's, uh, as soon as you click on it, you can read a bit about it. Um, it does tell you what rating it is in. So as you see, it's 13 plus and it tells you the um, sound, so 5.1. But what I've noticed with some of this, you won't actually see PG. It's basically just gonna give you like a rating, like basically what it will do is say 18 plus, 13 plus, six plus. You don't actually see PG or anything like that. So as you see, Right there, 7 plus, you won't see PG, MA, and that sort of stuff. Okay. So we're going more down to kids just to make sure that is the case. I'm pretty sure, yeah, see, they just put all for kids. They don't actually put PG, G, and so on. So if you like that sort of rating system, how, it's, how you've got PG, M, MA, 18 plus, and that sort of stuff. Um, Amazon Prime Video does not have that. Now that doesn't bother me, um, but you just got to follow the age group right there. Okay. Now let's head over to kids. Okay. So obviously you've got all your kids here. You've got also Amazon Original Series for kids right here. And you don't have too much there, but you've got a bit. So yeah, you got your kids and family movies right there. And then you got your kids and family TV right here. So that's great. 
And basically there's not too much as I said before. So I'll back out of that and now we'll show you the watch list. Now I added a few movies before so we'll see if they all came over. Yep, so all the ones I added for the TV are right here. And for movies, you just have to scroll over to the right and click on that. And this is everything I've added for the movies. And you can easily just hit watch now from this menu, which is great. And it tells you a bit about it, so that's great too. Okay, so now let's head over to settings and see what we can do over there. Okay, so the settings are basically the same. You've got your parental control. So you can basically muck with that if you want. But again, we are going to have to go to the website to muck with any of that. So that's a bit annoying right there. Then you've got your legal notice, which we won't read. Uh, you've got your registered devices, so you can look at those. Uh, so you can deregister this device if you want. You can give them feedback. And then you've got your prime video. So again, there's nothing you can really do in settings, which Parental control would be a great feature if you can muck with that in settings instead of having to go over to your computer. So yeah, that's basically uh, Prime Video on the Telstra TV and it works absolutely great. Um, the only problem that I had is the blurriness at the beginning of it, but I could not get that to happen. So we'll try to play another movie and just see how that, we'll play a TV show actually. And it actually plays really fast, so we'll just skip this up right now, hit play. basically we're in. So yeah, it's super easy to do and um, hopefully you guys like the brand new um, Amazon Prime on Telstra TV. So I'm glad it finally made it to Telstra TV as well, but sadly we don't have any recommendations about it. So hopefully when you have the option to go to how I showed before, you got the um, 7 Plus option, you look at all the 7 Plus recommended content, Netflix, hopefully they add an option to have Prime Video there so you can scroll through all the recommended content for Prime Video. So thanks again for watching Down Under. If you found this video helpful, let us know down below. And thanks again for watching. Catch you guys next time.